All right, gang. I wanted to give a quick uh, video on the diesel heater. It's not really the video I had planned on getting out to you guys this weekend. I'm working on a propane tank uh, installation video. We'll get to that one when it's done. But uh, for today, I just wanted to give a quick quick overview and tour the Chinese diesel heater. It is the the knockoff version. It's not the Webasto. And uh, I'll put some links in the description for it. And it's it's pretty simple. This will be my second winter using it and uh, loved it last winter. I'm sure I'll love it this winter. So um, I've got the the digital control and it is in Fahrenheit as you can see. Um, you can actually hit your up and down arrows at the same time and switch that thing to Celsius and make it come back to Fahrenheit. So it works good. And the heater itself. All right, so this thing's actually behind my my driver's seat here, and uh, I've got the seat unbolted so I can move it to show you guys what's going on there. Let me slide this forward, and uh, I'll give you the quick tour. All right, so what we've got we've got the the diesel tank that comes with the uh, with the unit is this mounted on the wall here, and there is the fuel pump. If you guys have a a bus with a rubber floor mat. That is the best place in the world to mount that pump. It is totally quiet. The, the heater makes more noise than a, than a fuel pump does, which a lot of people complain about the pump. So anyway, it's, a, it's, it's got a rubber mount and mounted into rubber. It is silent. So you've basically got the heater, and I've got mine pumped to an a outlet that runs behind the cabinets, and it comes out along the front of the cabinets. I'll show you that. But you basically want to make sure if you're mounting this thing, but it's somewhere where you have access to it, and it has a bit of airflow around it, so because it sucks air in this end, runs through, it gets hot, and it blows out the other end. And you'll have to do some, from time to time as possible, you might have to do some maintenance. You just want to make sure it's it's easy, easy to get to, and easy to work on. Um, there's no point making it any harder than what you have to, so. But yeah, it just lives here, and so far, seems to be a good place for it. So... There is that. All right, let me show you the duct work and we'll move on. All right, so I've got these ducts in the front of the lower cabinet. And they spin around. You can aim them any direction you want. Basically comes, there's the pipe that was hooked to the heater. Comes into this to splitter. Goes into this pipe. And then it runs back along behind my fridge. Let me give you a look down from there. So it comes in from there, drops down through the panel under the fridge, and uh, comes along here to the outlet in the front. And this one can, kind of blows back to the bed area. So anyway, that's pretty much that. All right, so we will give this a test fire here. We're not going to let it run for long because it's hot out there, but... You always want to make sure these run about at least 30 minutes to, to get all the diesel out of the chamber. So I haven't set the clock yet this year. So that's on. Let's see what it does up here. I'll let you know when the fuel pump actually starts pumping in case you can't hear it in the camera. The way these work is the glow plug will heat the chamber up in there and then once the chamber's up the temperature it'll actually turn on the the pump and start pumping the diesel fuel to it all right so that is i don't know if you can hear that or not but that is the heater or the, the the fuel pump may have noticed that uh, that was just a straight pipe coming off the diesel heater to the outside of the bus they come with these uh, little mufflers and uh, 
my best advice on what to do with these things to you guys is to get rid of it. I uh, fought some horrible issues with carbon and soot build up last year and uh, tracked it down. It took me a while to finally figure out what was going on, but it, it was the muffler had plugged up just completely. And it's not even much of a muffler. As you can tell, it's not that loud. So um, I really don't know of any situation where you, where that would make a difference in the in the sound level of it, but it sure does build up with carbon and restrict it. And you will have, be faced with all kinds of uh, carbon up and soot issues inside the heater. I had to take it take it apart and clean it a couple times. I got rid of that muffler. Uh, it just went to a straight pipe, and I have had zero issues ever since. So you saw how easy it fired up. That's the first fire for the year. Um, so it's been setting setting all all uh, summer, um, and it fired right up. So I even moved it. So there had to be some air in the lines. But anyway, it's working great. Get rid of the muffler would be my recommendation. Um, Videos are not instructional, it's just what I have done. So, hope you enjoy it. All right, gang, so that's it for me. Um, it's a uh, quick video, just wanted to give you a quick tour of what the diesel heater uh, looks like on the bus. And let me know if you guys have one and if you've had any issues, what are your thoughts about getting rid of the muffler. Um, let me know. If you like the channel, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like the video, if you find any value from it. If you want to join us over on Patreon, come on over. Um, there's a lot more posts on Patreon than what they're on YouTube, and I can post there more often with some shorter videos, and uh, it's pretty much updated. I try to do it daily, sometimes it's every other day, so, so come on over, join us on Patreon. I think it's like three bucks a month. Um, so anyway, if you like that, we'll see you over there. Um, we're on Facebook, I haven't done much with Instagram, but uh, trying to work on that. Uh, check us out on the website. If you want, there's a link uh, to the website down in the description, and there's a link to the diesel heater if you guys are interested in that. So anyway, thanks a lot. God bless everybody. Hope you're having a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.